Naam, hujambo na karibu tena mtazamaji wangu mahali popote ulipo. Niombi na matumaini yangu kwamba hubueri wa afya na Mwenyezi Mungu anaendelea kukulinda. Karibu nikufahamisha yale ambayo yanaendelea kutokea hapa nchini Kenya katika utawala wake William Samoi Harap Ruto. Mtazamaji hata kabla hatujaendelea, nataka kwanza umsikilize William Samoi Harap Ruto ndio ujue kwamba Ruto anaweza akadanganya. Sikiliza. To all the good people who took up the challenge. I remember making the announcement in Jamhuri last year. It didn't look real then. But today we have evidence that it is reality. We have graduates here today graduating with certificates. Can we uh, have a round of applause for them? From me and from the many who will come into this space. Congratulations to you for having the courage, the innovation, the creativity to step into new spaces, get new training, expand your scope of knowledge, understanding, experience new ways of doing things, learn more. Life is a journey in learning. All of us keep learning, expanding our horizons and making sure that we are much more on the cutting edge as we learn more. Congratulations again. And to those of you who have not experienced this chance, the chance is still open. The address is still the same. Get online, get learning, and improve your careers. Asante sana. So mtazamaji huyo ni William Samoi Ruto kama vile unamwona tu hapo kwa screen akiwa pamoja na watoto ambao wame graduate uh, kutoka Arizona University programs tayari wameza wameza kugraduate baada ya mwaka mmoja juzi tu uh, mwaka jana mwanzi wa 12 ndio William Ruto alikuwa amesema kwamba wale watu ambao watakuja pale sio ilikuwa ni kasarani ama ni Nyayo Stadium watapata nafasi ya kwenda kusoma huko uh, Arizona University lakini sasa baada ya mwaka mmoja ama baada ya miezi chache tu ambayo imeweza kupita tayari wameweza kugraduate na in fact wa Kenya katika mitandao ya kijamii wamelalamika sana uh, wengi wanasema kwamba William Samoe Ruto bwana wache uongo bwana ni university gani hiyo ambayo uh, mtu ana graduate ama ni course gani hiyo ambayo mtu anafanya chini ya mwaka mmoja hmm? <laughs> Ukiangalia hapo katika mitandao ya kijamii watu wengi tena zaidi wameweza ku, uh, kuzungumza kuna <laughs> ha? mpaka wengine wanasema kwamba hii ni maajabu bwana hmm? watoto wana wanatangazwa mwezi wa mbili kwamba wameingia shule na hata si kwamba waliingia hiyo siku so inamaanisha kwamba waliingia mwaka huu uh, mwaka tu wa 2023 na wakamaliza hii mwaka wa 2023 na wakagraduate <laughs> Nilikwambia kwamba William Samoe Ruto akiamua kudanganya anaweza akadanganya vizuri sana na hata unaona kuna watu hapo ambao wanapiga makofi lakini maneno ya Biblia iko ufunuo na moja. mstari wa nane. ambaye inasema waongo <laughs> <laughs> Waongo kwanza <laughs> wazinzi wanaoabudu sanamu alafu na waoga hawaendi mbinguni <laughs> So huyo ni William Samoe Ruto akizungumza kuhusu yeye mwenyewe hmm? Alikuwa anazungumza nadhani ni 2022 ama 2021 lakini alikuwa anazungumza kuhusu yeye mwenyewe kwa sababu kama kuna mtu ambaye anapenda kudanganya wa Kenya ni William Samoi Harap Ruto. Uliona jana mtazamaji wangu vile watu walimpigia makofi huko NYS. <laughs> Eti ana William Ruto anawaambia kwamba sijui nitawafanyia hivi sijui nitawafanyia hivi. Alafu mnampigia makofi kweli. Mkiwa serious kabisa kabisa. <laughs> Pengine mtu ambaye hamjui William Samoi Ruto ni mtu wa aina gani kwa sababu mimi binafsi vile namjua William Ruto hata akiniambia kesho nitakuletea simu simu ya pesa kidogo tu akiniambia kesho nitakuletea simu <laughs> mpaka nione hiyo simu na niakisha kwamba inawaka kwanza ndio niamini kwamba hiyo promise itatimizwa lakini eti ani promise kitu alafu ni kubali tu alafu nianze kufurahia hiyo <laughs> mtangojea mpaka mwaka ambayo uh, sijui ni mwaka gani hmm. we are graduating 10000 young people from this field next year in the first cohort it will be 15000 In the next cohort, it will be 15,000. So next year alone, 
30,000 young people from across Kenya will graduate from NYS as we position NYS as the incubator for all other arms of government. And let me report here that when I was here last year, I did commit that we were going to include the National Youth Service in the review of salaries and working conditions of both the police, the prisons, and I committed that we are going to include the NYS, and we did. <laughs> Let me confirm that as the report was presented to me and to government, National Youth Service, beginning the next financial year, for three years, their salaries will be increased by 40% going into the future. Let me also confirm that I have approved the modernization and the re-engineering of National Youth Service so that in February next year, we will have an additional 200 cadets that will be trained to enhance the capacity of National Youth Service to train more servicemen and women as we use NYS to grow the pool of young people that are job ready, that are ready to take up responsibilities in different sectors. Additionally, another 500 servicemen will be trained to join staff of the National Youth Service again in the effort to ensure that National Youth Service has the men, <laughs> has the... Mm. So mtazamaji huyo ni William Samoe Ruto ake promise watu jana huko NYS na unasikia kuna watu hata wanapiga makofi kabisa. Hmm. Wanampigia makofi kabisa William Samoe Ruto. Pengine inaweza kuwa wa mambo mawili kwa upande wangu vile nafikiria. Pengine uh, walikuwa wanataka kumfurahisha William Samoe Ruto ama pengine wa mjui ile mruto lakini sijui ni mkenya mgani ambaye yako hapa Kenya ambaye amjui William Samoe Ruto. Ukisema ule ukweli sijui ni mkenya mgani ambaye amjui vizuri William Samoe Arap Ruto. Sijui. Hmm. Kwa sababu William Samoe Ruto yale mambo ambayo ya promise hapa Kenya ni mengi sana. Hata nimeona uh, watu wengi sasa hivi wameanza kumwambia William Ruto. Jamani William Ruto afadhali unyamaze kwanza utimize zile promise ambazo umepromise watu badala ya kuendelea kuongezea watu promise na bado hujatimiza zile ambazo uliwa promise watu hmm. unaendelea kuumiza watu tena zaidi wakati unaendelea kupromise mambo mengi unaendelea kupromise watu tena ama unaendelea kuwaumiza watu na kuwakasirisha tena zaidi kwa sababu sasa watakuwa na kuchukulia kama mtu ambaye una, ni kama ambaye una, ni kama yani una hmm? Ni kama unawadharau kwa sababu sasa uwezi ukampromise watu eh, vitu mia moja alafu unashindwa kufanya hata moja. Kazi yako tu ni safari safari. Hata <laughs> wacha ni kuoneshe mtazamaji wangu. <laughs> William Samoe Ruto hata anaenda. Hmm. Amemaliza siku zake hapa Kenya. So sasa anasafiri tena kutoka ama siku zake za utalii hapa Kenya zimeisha. Sasa anarudi tena uh, nchi nyingine. Kama vile unaona hapo kwa screen ndio ujua kwamba siku zake hapa Kenya zimeisha uh, inasema uh, Hussein Mohamed amesema hivi President William Ruto will depart tomorrow to Djibout for the 41st extraordinary season of the EGAD Assembly of Heads of States and Government in Djibout City Msikia mtazamaji wangu ama nikusomee tena William Samoe Ruto kesho anaelekea Djibout Nadhani kwamba alikuja jana, alikuja jana ama alikuja juzi. Ni kama alikuja jana ama juzi. Leo tu ndio wako Kenya, kesho Djibouti. <laughs> sasa hii imekuwa serious mtazamaji wangu. Hii sasa hata si vile tulikuwa tunaifikiria sasa. Sasa imekuwa serious kabisa kabisa. Hmm. Sasa tumekuwa yani tul, sasa hii imekuwa serious kabisa kabisa. Inamaanisha kwamba kwa mwezi mmoja William Ruto atakuwa anakaa Kenya kama wiki moja. Wiki tatu yuko nje ya Kenya. <laughs> ama William Samoe Ruto uh, anaenjoy tu kusafiri safiri kila mahali. Inaonekana tu hiyo ni imekuwa dream yake kutoka muda mrefu kwamba naweza safiri inji zote. Imagine mtazamaji wangu sasa hivi William Ruto ni kama ametembea karibu kila inji. 
by 2027 hakuna mahali atakuwa jakanyanga William Samoei Arap Ruto atakuwa amekanyanga karibu kila mahali hapa Kenya hapa duniani na usisahau kwamba hiyo ni ile pesa yako ambayo ni unakatwa ushuru ile pesa ambayo unaongezewa tax hiyo pesa ndiyo inatumika kwa William Ruto kusafiri asafiri peke yake anaenda na watu yani nilikwambia tu William Ruto ukisikia amesafiri kwenda mahali kama Djibouti ama ametoka tu Kenya jua kwamba mamilioni ama mabilioni ya pesa yatatumika pale wakati huo huo serikali ina pesa <laughs> unaona mtazamaji wangu kwa hivyo a uh, William Samoe Ruto kesho anasafiri tena kuelekea Djibouti baada ya kuja Kenya siku mbili akadanganya watu wa NYS jana lakini pia leo haka wadanganya wa Kenya live live kwamba eti wanafunzi wa migrant kwa chini ya mwaka mmoja mm, sijui pengine sisi ndio watu jui basi pengine sisi ndio watu na uh, maarifa ya kujua kwamba kuna mahali unaweza enda una migrant mwaka mmoja mm, lakini mimi najua pengine miaka mbili lakini kama pengine mimi ndiyo sijui pengine uniambia pochini katika sehemu ya comment section uniambie kwamba wewe jitan wewe ndio ujui watu wanaweza graduate hata na miezi tatu ama miezi mbili ama mwezi mmoja wewe ndio ujui mimi nitakubali kama mimi ndiyo sijui nitakubali makosa lakini uh, sina sijui kama sijawahi kusikia kwa kweli itakuwa ni mara yangu ya kwanza kusikia mtu ambaye ameenda shule last year December na this year December anaenda na graduate kwa hivyo kama ni hivyo nadhani kwamba kila mtu anekekua na ingekuwa rahisi sana Saidi. Anyway, hebu niambie hapo shirika sehemu ya comment section kama unakubaliana na William Samoei Ruto kwamba hao watoto tayari wame graduate ama ilikuwa ni uongo kwa sababu uh, watu wengi ambao walienda pale sijui ilikuwa nyayo study ya mama ilikuwa kasarane lakini naamini najua kwamba watu walilamika walalamika sana kwa sababu walizama kutoka hiyo siku hiyo story ilishia pale. So pengine hii ni ni story ambayo imepikwa tu kama ile nyingine ilipikwa wakati wa uh, William Ruto akia address the nation kuhusu Asla Fund kuhusu simu ambazo zilipigwa pengine hii pia ilikuwa ni plan ni, 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 ni jambo ambalo ilikuwa imepikwa so tukakuja tukapakuliwa kama wa Kenya na nimeona tu kuna baadhi ya watu ambao wameikubali wamemwambia congratulations hata umesikia hapo kuna watu wanampigia makofi lakini Watu wengi ambao wako washab sana sasa hapa nchini Kenya wamesema hapana Ruto wacha kutudanganya bwana hii hii mambo tunaijua hmm. wacha kutuona kama watu ambao waelewi kabisa anyway mimi ningependa kusikia maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section wewe una maoni gani mtazamaji wangu kutokana na William Ruto vile amesema lakini pia kutokana na William Ruto vile aliwa promise watu wa uh, K, ama watu wa uh, NYS jana Unakubaliana naye ama unaona kwamba ni promise after promise? Nipe maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section lakini kila na kuomba usiene mbali kwa sababu unarejea na mengi zaidi. Kwa sasa bye bye. Tukutane tena kwa video nyingine hapa hapa Jitan Daily Politics. Kwa sasa bye bye.